just because I cannot see well, I still need a teacher to um, help me out. It's very, very important. The TVI program leads to a Master of Science degree in education. It is basically about 90% online, and the program can be completed before two years. So it's engineered for people who can follow through and become a certified teacher in a fairly short period of time, but they also are able to maintain their own jobs while they're actually learning how to become a teacher of the visually impaired. I'm a working mom of two little girls, one of whom has special needs, so the ability to do school at home is wonderful. They had lecture online and now they're demonstrating what they've learned and they had to show me that they could demonstrate a tactile graphic for their students. We make all the content accessible to our students. The content is delivered through lecture notes, textbook readings, videos. Well, I'm still working. I was working this year full time as a teacher for New York City Department of Ed. I have a large family. Dominican is not just an education, it's a difference. Without a doubt, it takes into consideration what we consider at Dominican to be the service orientation. A very, very steep tradition of service to the community. And it's not a disability oriented kind of program, it's a program of strength. It is a thriving program that is small by choice, not by chance. I felt like my relationship with the professors here were just not just that, okay, student teacher relationship. It was a, you know, a closer bond, like as if they were like a family member. We talked every single week. We have discussion boards back and forth. Professors are amazing at getting back to questions that you have like within minutes. You have to be disciplined that you're going to check in every day. However, you reap the rewards once you're able to work with these students. The first residency is our orientation and mobility lab. We require our students to be here the whole weekend. They are working with an instructor. She does hands-on demonstration of how to use a cane, and they learn the importance of direction and instruction. This residency is a three-day residency that takes place at the end of June. You are going to be making a special dessert. Everyone should be included in this process, so no one should be left out. We're responsible to teach the expanded core curriculum, and part of that expanded core curriculum are independent living skills. So we have to teach strategies in the kitchen. They are blindfolded or visually impaired with the uh, simulators on. You're out of your comfort zone, yeah. big time. Like when I'm cooking at home, like I don't have to think about right. it. It feels like I'm looking through fog, so um, it's just like disorienting. We bring representatives from the National Organization, the Association, for education and rehabilitation for the blind and visually impaired. We also have representatives from the American Printing House for the Blind. They come in to speak with our students to introduce them to the materials and products that are offered to our students in different learning environments. We also have former students come in that are now currently in the field. Dominican College is definitely a place where if you want to be a TVI, you should go there. Because I feel like I have the foundational knowledge that you need to be able to work with the children. The support system is still there even six years later. I can reach out to Yvette or anybody else at Dominican anytime. I had a unique experience that I was already working with these students. So Dominican changed how I taught my kids. I was able to have a better understanding of what was going on with them and feel more confident as a teacher. It was online, we were able to connect with our professors, if we needed to email them, we had collaborative group work. We're in great need of teachers. The field is in need of approximately 5,000 teachers of the blind and visually impaired nationwide. And the salary is pretty competitive because there's such a need. Everybody has the right to an education and the more TVIs out there, the more they'll be able to have the appropriate education. Employers are offering itinerant positions. You can work for the Department of Education. You may want to work in the homes, or you may want to work in the medical facilities, such as the hospitals. You don't necessarily have to be in a school setting. Employers are looking for part-time and full-time staff to serve learners with visual impairment or blindness. When they're doing their student teaching, many of the employers need them. I would say about 95% are employed before they leave my program. The most important part of going into this field is to know how rewarding it is. I really just enjoyed being able to make a difference for them. I learned science, math, um, social studies, 
It's nice to have a good teacher. I love it. I love it. It's, it's a great program. Every time I do a day of field work, I walk out on a high. I'm a TBI now 25 years. It is fulfilling. I've been teaching for 34 years here at Dominican, but I have been teaching for more than 45 years. What I would like to tell people who are coming into the profession is realize that as a teacher, you're always going to be a student. The TBI program is an exciting career for people who want to work hard, who are willing to understand how people learn differently through different senses and how to just potentiate people's abilities. This is the job for you.